Hello, this is Rizzo the Wrench, and I'm here to give you a this, a this, a this, a let's play racket. Yeah, let's play racket. Oh, no, you don't. You're gonna have to pry the headset from my cold, dead hands. Alright, and back to the regular scheduled program, Zrastucha Tovarishi, and welcome to my Let's Play of Mafia 2. And I'm sorry about all that confusion in the start, I just woke up today and there was an Italian mobster sitting at my computer trying to steal my stick. So I'm gonna make sure he's sleeping with the fishes later tonight, and after this Let's Play I'm gonna drive him on down to the docks and, uh, you know, give him the old Paris cement shoes if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, well you should have thought about that before you started to steal my gig. <sighs> Jackass. Anyway, I think that's enough being said right there. So let's start a new game of Mafia 2. Uh, and again, I'm going to be using the uh, Xbox 360 controller. The only problem with it is, does anyone else have a problem with the white 360 controllers that they uh, occasionally just kind of shut off for some reason? Anyway. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. It's a classic immigrant story here. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work. And what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. <laughs> That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Let us shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. 
spread your legs Fuck. and put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Sweet, so I'm a war veteran. You know, I mean, besides, I think... Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return to fate. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? Glad they actually speak Italian and they're not like. Take the shot. Allora, traditori. Speak in English with shitty accents. Bam. Move. On now, me. I was just saying that besides uh, Battlefield 1942, Road to Rome, I don't think there's any Get up here, Scaletta. World War II shit. game. Holy shit! shit. Ah. 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 Jesus. Ah. 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 This guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. Torrent, You and Williams down with machine gun nests. Then find the prisoners. We're gonna meet every man we can get. But yeah, there's no other games dealing with the invasion of Italy. No, there are two games, that is. Looks like we found the machine gun! Watch it! Get up! Come on, dude! I wanted to pick up that gun. That was a lucky throw. Scaletta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Well, get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all Whoa. the ammo you oh. can carry. This Whoa. might be our last chance. I want it all. Is that it? Is there anything else I can steal? On the stairs! They freeze the ball! Scaletta, you take point. Would you get the right your behind you. Uh, there's another guy in there. Oh, he Got him. Headshot. Good for Scaletta. Kick it in. Oh, you fucked your saltar. It's a fight. Well. Thank God he, he waited till after I had shot him in the stomach once and almost shot his, ho shot his hostage a bunch of times. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Oh, shit. Let's 
see that gun on the balcony, Stiletta? MG42. Cacetto, un congetto quando siamo arretati come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovesse ascoltare i consigli di noi altri del posto. Ci rendiamo? Sapete che potete affidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. So I guess he holds a lot of sway. Those dons. I don't know that much about the Mafia. I did watch The Godfather, part one and two. Didn't watch part three because apparently it sucked and it wasn't worth it. And uh, that's about it. And I played uh, both the Godfather games. Never played the first Mafia though. But uh, this one looks pretty sweet thus far. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the happens. hospital for a bit. Then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. <laughs> Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. Couldn't have been gone that long. Seriously, didn't I get drafted there it in 1943? Empire Bay. Tell the truth. Oh, it's 1945 now. Hey, there's shit in the woods. I like this place. Never done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Only to Chelly's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, yeah reading's for suckers. You Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Carlo. No shit. Don Colo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Pat himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. <laughs> 